Hey guys, so for tonight's video, we're gonna go ahead and um, <coughs> fly into Bermuda Triangle. Um, ooh, saw a little bit of lightning going on over here. Ah, okay. So here's Bermuda Triangle, it's between the three areas here Miami, um, <coughs> wherever the hell this is seeing lightning going on here and also uh, Bermuda which is right here here's Bermuda right here guys so maybe we might take off at Bermuda right and this is the Bermuda Triangle right here right here that's a Bermuda Triangle this is where we need to be at so maybe we could take off here Bermuda and just go right into it or we could go here and just fly into it that's gonna take a couple of hours to do so I think let's just do uh, let's head in from um, Bermuda and there's a storm brewing up here. It's weird, but let's we could go ahead and take off from Bermuda here And see what's going on and there's a plane already taken off and that's live Okay Bermuda International Airport Set as departure. We are gonna use our icon a5 so we could we're gonna try to land um in the middle of the water here somewhere around here guys we're gonna try to land here and see what's what's going on here um, <coughs> the thing is I'm, I am gonna change the time because I don't want to be during at night time I mean I guess we can right um, and then I'll just change it as we go okay we're gonna go ahead and take a, take off Bermuda we're gonna land right here in the middle of Bermuda Triangle there's a storm brewing up right here there's like lightning and shit going on as you guys can see here um, this is live weather, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's just make sure that I have all players. Okay, go back to here and fly. Here we go, guys. We're at the Bermudes, Bermudes, the Bermudes, the Bermudas. She's a Buttes. Yo guys, it's gonna be some pretty rough conditions here. I don't know what's going on. Oof. Tower icon Alpha Sierra X ray <laughs> Golf Sierra at runway tree zero ready for tape oh, off straight on departure. My gosh. Okay. This is looking pretty effed up. Oof. Yeah, this is not the plane for this uh cleared for takeoff runway tree oh zero icon X ray golf Sierra. So you guys didn't know the icon. Let's let's turn up the brightness here, guys. I'm not feeling this nighttime. Let's change the time uh, of the day here. Uh, it's 5:40 in the morning. Let's change this like at. Let's make this like at 10 in the morning. So it's the brightest. Oof, we got a bad storm brewing up here. Oof. Let me turn up the volume so so you guys can hear. Pretty sure you guys are tired of me talking already, so we'll go ahead and just turn up the volume here for you guys to enjoy. Turn it up to like 60, it should be alright, right? Ooh, I love the sound of rain. Listen to that. So, as you guys know, this plane, the Icon A5, this plane is a civilian plane created for people. Um, for like normal people, everyday people, it's very small. Um, the price of this plane, base price is uh, three hundred thousand um, dollars, and anybody could get it. Anybody could buy it. Um, obviously, you need to uh, <laughs> you need to you need to be buy, uh, you need to have your license, pilot license. Um, but this is for the this is for this is for the public. Um, so you don't have to be, you don't have to be a, you know, you don't have to be a, oof, listen to that storm, bro. So, <coughs> it's very light, it's very small, you could park this in your garage, you could fold the wings, or the wings could come off, I believe. You could, you could tow this behind your truck. Uh, it's as big as, as a, as a, I think a, it's as big as a, this is a sedan, I believe, from tail to who knows. It has a, a Honda, I think a Honda engine, top. I think it has like 300 horsepower, something like that, turbo. 
as you guys can see the interior is very minimalist so you know you know like you've seen the planes that i'd be flying it doesn't have too many computers it looks like it just has like an ipad two radio systems here uh flaps and just like chargers or whatnot lights strobe talking about that it's already all on taxi okay parking brake engage okay so taxi light is on lighting lights are on you have heater right so it's it's very minimalistic right landing gear it's very minimalistic because it's for design for you know and anybody could fly it fuel oil airspeed altitude um angle of attack right here um rpm so it's very minimalistic guys so here's an ipad here and and actually this is an android base it looks like an android and you know it's very very easy to mess with you know see that's it it's like plain simple you don't get that whole like what is all this here we got carbon fiber going on over here looks like plastic interior i don't know or maybe it's fiberglass i'm not sure they try to keep it light and sporty um the thing that i don't like though is this this thing right here i don't like this they should have kept it as like a, a steering wheel type of thing because this is i don't know i don't this is more for a helicopter and here's your throttle guys here the engine sounds like a car right so we could go ahead and do that let's put flaps let's put a 15 degree flaps um, landing gear is activated heat let's put on some heat it's kind of cold in here inoperative okay um, okay let's full throttle and get going I can't control it there we go all right guys here we go in a triangle rotate actually rotates about 60 kilometers per hour that's not bad all right landing gear up oof yeah guys this is some storm going on over here Bermuda Okay, flaps up. Some big waves going on over here. Look at that. Oof. Nice and blue though. Ooh, man. Got some deep shit now, aren't we? Yeah, look at us. Wow. Okay, so Bermuda Triangle is off to your right. I would assume. Hold on. Let's see the map real quick. DFR. Yeah, so Bermuda Triangle is like uh, I think right here. We're pretty much at Bermuda Triangle already, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and try to land and see what the hell is going on here. See what kind of we're gonna investigate and see what's what's what. what. Of course, we're gonna have to fly into the into the storm here, right? Looks like uh, Bermuda Triangle is definitely. Look at this. This Bermuda Triangle there off to the right, and look at that's not blue. Look at that's it's all nice and blue over there, out of the Bermuda Triangles, um, out of Bermuda Triangles area. Look, it's nice and blue, but look in Bermuda Triangle very stormy and weird that's just weird guys look at this look at this division here nice weather bad weather not bermuda triangle bermuda triangle so yeah let's do this going in here we go oh shit here we go guys Alright, Poor Icon. Definitely see Northwest of Bermuda Triangle. There we go, guys. Uh, we're in Bermuda Triangle. Well, not quite. 
Okay, here we are, guys. Um, this plane is not designed for this type of weather. This plane has only 300 horses, probably 200 horses, and I'm barely going forward at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to rely. I have to rely on my um, on my because I can't see the horizon. I have to rely on my horizon indicator here. And my map as well. Let's see. <coughs> Okie dokie. Up on, there's no, nothing here in the map. I don't get it. Oh, there you go. There we go, buddy. Okay, she looks like a touch screen. Yeah, so we're in Bringing a Triangle, guys. Here we are. It's gonna. Can't see what's going on, and just gonna go. We're gonna go right deep in it, bro. We're gonna go like in the center of Bermuda Triangle. So yeah, I mean, I could see how people would get lost in here. Like, look at this. I'm already lost. I don't know where the hell I am without like you know GPS here. I don't even know where the hell the the uh, the horizon is. The only way I can tell the horizon is from my instruments. It's the only way I'm, I'm able to fly. If, I'm, if I fly like like this i don't know what's happening here bro like i don't know if I'm, I'm going down i don't know where the horizon is i don't know if i'm banking left or right Ooh. okie dokie we're gonna have to turn this up a little bit more guys just gotta hear the rain here Resume. Uh, yes, save. Oh uh, no. What is this? What is going on? What? 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 What is this? Castle? No, dude. Resume. Hold on one second. I'm just gonna make sure this is right. Let me use my mouse. Okay, ninety percent. All right, we're good. So here we are guys, flying around in the rain in the Bermuda Triangle. We're not deep in Bermuda, but we're in Bermuda Triangle. As you can see, there's a storm brewing up here. He's just joining us. Um, I don't know where I am. And what's going on here. The only thing I know is we're in here, in the middle of everything. There's a storm brewing up. And as you can see, out of the Bermuda Triangles area, it's nice and sunny and blue. And inside the Bermuda Triangle seems to be like a bad, bad storm, like an electrical storm or something out here. And like you can't see shit. So, I mean, I can see how people could get lost in here. And look at my GPS. Look at my GPS, it doesn't show shit. Look at my GPS, guys. It's not showing anything here. So, here's the map. Look at this map. You could even zoom out here. Oh, there you are. So, there's really nothing out here, guys. There's nothing in Bermuda Triangle. Um, so, I can see how. Look, I'm, we're barely out, too. So, we're not even in the middle of Bermuda Triangle yet. Oh, see, here's the water right here. Oh, I think I'll keep it on this. I can use this as... Use that to fly. 
Okay, lower down the RPM here for a little bit. We are exceeding our RPMs. There you go. Keep the RPM at eight. Or what is that, five, I guess? Keep it at five, five and a half. Okay. Airspeed, 60. Altitude, we're at 7,000 feet. Okay. Oil temperature, everything seems to be okay. Fuel seems to be okay. Okay, so I mean, why not? I'm not feeling anything weird. Um, nothing to report. You know, nothing, nothing awkward happening. Uh, we are gonna land on water, so as soon as I find like a like an area to land in the water here, I don't know where the fuck the water is. Fucking hella raining like crazy. I see fingerprints right here. I don't know whose fingerprint that is right there, but I see fingerprints. Like maybe the aliens outside like left their fingerprints or trying to push my plane off to the side or something, you know? I don't know. I don't know what those are. I just, look at this. I just cleaned this. I just cleaned this, man. I don't know where these fingerprints are coming, coming from, from all the way up here. Well, it's like they're holding us, like, they're pushing us. It's weird. Anyways, we out here. We out here, guys, with the Icon A5. Turn on some lights, maybe. Oh, yeah, so you can, t take, off, you can take off your wings, guys. And there's a parachute, too. So if something happens, you can pull it, and you won't die. Actually, there's a lot of uh, some reliability problems in this plane. Reliability problem. I can't even say the damn word properly. So there's there's problems in this plane. Um, I don't know exactly. Like it's not as reliable as people thought it would be. So. Um, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't buy one. Because I don't want to end up dying, right? I don't want to end up... <gasps> Look at that, guys. Wow. There's like a sliver of... a blue sky up here. Maybe let's... We can go up there and... try to... escape this freaking madness. We are at 8,000 feet, so the clouds are at 8,000 feet, 9,000 feet. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Where the hell are we? My camera is kind of weird. I don't know. I don't want my camera in here. go towards that way, right? Well, so far I haven't encountered, I'm not encountering anything weird here. Um, there's a storm inside Bermuda Triangle, but look at this, there's like a, like an opening to like a calm weather. It's weird, this is so weird. How is there like a big storm right here and it's calm right here? Are we heading out of Bermuda Triangle? I have no idea guys. Well, we're gonna try to land anyway, okay? So... Let me just fly this thing real quick. Let me fly this, uh, this old girl. Well, she's not an old girl. She's fairly new. Icon X-ray off. Contact New York Center. Online okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna contact New York Center. I don't know. We're out of range. Two eight decimal five five count X-ray Golf Sierra. New York Center Icon Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra nine thousand feet. Okay, so we're gonna try to go in the water, Sierra. guys. I don't know. Golf Sierra. New York Center. <coughs> Let's go land in water here. Altimeter two hundred decimal nine hundred two. 
guess this is the best place you can do it. Right here. And so, decrease engine. Try to lose altitude. So we're gonna land in the middle of uh, the Bermuda Triangle here. See what's what. What's going on here? We're gonna go back in the in the storm just a little bit here. I'm gonna do my S maneuvers. guys I'm on my phone real quick yeah. okay. flying and being on my phone yeah I know I know I know relax hold on one second So I'm back. My bad guys, I uh, had to step out real quick because <clears throat> I mean I was still flying. Um, somebody just came, uh, somebody called real quick. But anyways, yeah, we're here. Where are we? Oh shoot. Okay, we're trying to go down, right? Yeah, we're trying to land into the water and see what's going on down there. It's like a little jet ski, isn't it? Look at this thing. It's like a little baby jet ski. It's like a, a flying jet ski, man. Look at him. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's like a flying jet ski with wings. I bet you if you take off the wings, you can use this as jet ski, man. So this is pretty cool, man. I, li I actually like this. Only if the, they didn't have the reliability real problems, then I would, I would buy one didn't have that problem but since it has that problem then uh no sorry maybe the next generation of icon a5s maybe they'll have, they'll be more reliable i want to take this flying it's not reliable come on man and if it was made by honda then maybe you know honda or toyota then you know those things are very reliable company reliable vehicles they could go at least like 500,000 miles and more under a dometer, uh, under freaking a dometer. Okay, so we're landing. We're gonna see what's going on here. We're gonna go right into the storm and see, see if we get lost or you know something happens to us or whatnot. Unmuted, okay. We're gonna be landing soon. Okay, landing gears. Oh wait, no. We don't need landing gears here. We're in the water, guys. 
I already have my pontoons out. Don't need it, right? Do we really need it? No, we don't. We don't need landing gears. We could float right on this jet ski looking thing. Oh shit. Kinda losing the horizon here. People might come in a little too hot. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Coming in, coming in way too hot. Ah, oh shit. Holy moly. Okay, here we go. Landing. Should be landing um, actually towards the wind here. We're landing like, oh shit, oh shit. Come on, baby, we can do this. Come on, baby, we can do this. And touchdown. <gasps> We're sinking. We're all right. We're in an in amphibious uh, vehicle here. We're fine. So yeah, what's so what's going on here, guys? I don't see uh, anything weird going on down here. Um, seems like we're just flying and on top of water. It's kind of weird. <gasps> what happened? I crashed? How did I crash? What? No. I didn't crash? What the fuck? What was that? Bro. <laughs> what the hell did I cr I didn't crash. I was, I was on water. Dude. What the fuck? Yo, what the hell's going on? Hold on. No, we're not, not, not about to do that again. Uh -uh. We're gonna go right into the water. Uh, -uh. what the hell? Hold on here. Freaking bastard, dude. Crash? No, 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 no! Don't reset, please. No. Oh my god! Did I just reset? I did. No, why did I do that? Oh my god. No, I gotta fuck with all this shit all over again, man. <sighs> Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just keep it. Ooh. Here. There you go. Discard. Come on, baby. He can do this. Please, please, please. Please, please, no, it's fucking reset. Ugh. Alright, guys, well, I guess it might be the end of the video here because I gotta mess with the settings now and get it back to where it was. I guess we could just put it on medium. I don't know. Alright, well, anyways, um. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant to do. What am I doing here? Main menu. I don't know why I crash, how I crash, but uh, that's kind of like a glitch. So let's turn off the crash, because uh, that's kind of like a glitch, and I don't. That's, it ruined the whole experience right now. Look at that. Now it's gone. Now we're we gotta start over, and. Uh, my goodness. Alright, so um, we're going to go ahead and fly again. We're going to put ourselves right in the center of Bermuda Triangle. There's Bermuda right there. We're going to be right here. Set departure. Fly. So now we're in the middle of Bermuda Triangle, guys. Okay, so. Okay. New York Center Icon Alpha Sierra X Ray Gulf Sierra is timeline 85. Request flight following. 
Okay, and we're gonna land. Icon Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra New York Center. Squawk U661. Squawk 2661 Icon X-ray Golf Sierra. Okay, the horizon. Icon X-ray Golf Sierra. So we're gonna Sierra land. Radar contact 1,700 feet. Altimeter 2 nine or decimal nine or two. Unless I can see, oh, I can definitely cannot see out Sierra. here. So, um, yeah, throttle down. Um, flat 50 degrees. I gotta look into this, guys. We are at what? 1,000 feet? Gonna descend. We're descending uh, quite slow, actually. Let's descend more. Okay, now we're descending. 1,500 feet. Descending. Now we're descending quite fast. I don't know where sea level is. I'm just gonna see the water, and we're just gonna die. Okay, throttle down. Definitely give us a glide slope. Okay. And we're going down quite slowly. There must be a really uh, high headwind here. Because we're pretty much like gliding right now. Well, that's what we're doing, but we're trying to lose altitude here. We're at 900 feet. I don't know if this is sea level or if this is. This has to be sea level. Oh no, my TV's gonna turn off. No, 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 not while I'm flying. Okay, 700. I think I see the horizon up ahead. I see the water. Up, oh, I see it. Yep, I see it. I see it. Okay, I see it. 500. Oh yeah, I see the water right here. This is quite scary. Throttle all the way off. Okay. This time we're not gonna crash because it turned off crash. I don't know how we crashed, but we crashed. Okay. About to hit the ground. Three, two, one, ground. There we are. Oh shit. There we are guys. We're in water. So, I guess Microsoft didn't think that we're actually going to try to land on water here. So, they, they're like, eh. The surface is kind of like we're going under the water here. Like, thank God this is amphibious. This plane is amphibious. Could be underwater as well. Um, but this is pretty, pretty intense down here. Um some pretty big waves going on too look at that looks like we're so like flying but we're not we're kind of flying right now i don't know what's going on oh yeah this is pretty intense down here i mean it's pretty scary Well, they did a very good job with the rain, but the water, they need to improve up, they need to improve upon this. I don't know what's going on here. It's like glitched out or something. <laughs> it's like, look at this. I mean, I guess this is not a water, this is not a boat simulator, right? This is a flight simulator, so they're not really going to be concerned about landing on water. It'll be cool though if they do kind of fix it a little bit, so like you can kind of like jet ski your right way around here. Oh, 
Oh, look at some big waves over here, bro. Some scary shit going on down here. I would not want to be in this storm, man. You got me double messed up. So yeah, I'm currently not flying right now, guys. I'm like supposed to be like jet skiing around the water, but this seems like I'm flying. Look at this storm though. Oh, look at this wave. Oh my goodness. That's some scary ass wave. Okay, we're gonna try to go forward if we can. And uh, we're gonna try not to take off here. I mean, we could take off, I guess. <coughs> Flaps down 15 degrees. Full throttle get off the uh, the water tension here small water tension get off me and we have flight rotate all right we're good I guess we can kind of fly around here and check out the area see what's going on here this is a scary storm going on over here I wouldn't be caught in this storm, man. Oh, shit. Alright, guys. So, that's Bermuda Triangle. I haven't got lost. Something happened to me. No sea serpent. There's no sea serpent that came out and tried to eat me and just it's just weird that there's a storm here out in Bermuda Triangle but oof, that's a pretty big wave down there but yeah as far as everything else it seems everything seems to be normal to me no magnetic heading I'm not getting any like weird instrument readings here or anything so seems to be whoa 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 why, why am I being dragged towards the ground here I don't know what's going on like what oh, I can't see the okay there you go it's like weird like I'm getting like magnetized or something I don't know all right well I don't know dude that maybe that's just a game I can't say that's Bermuda guys that's just probably the game like I'm not a big I'm not big on like what do you call this on like superstitious focus focus type of BS you know like to be honest people get I think people get lost here in the Bermuda because like come on look at this who wouldn't get lost here look at this freaking vast ocean I would get lost here if I'm if I'm in here right if I'm this is me flying here right now I would get lost in here bro hey, look at the fucking GPS man like, come on. Look at this. You're like in the middle of the ocean here. Like, what's what's what? What's going on here? So, yeah. People will definitely get lost here, man. <coughs> Especially a, during a storm? Yeah. Like, with all that, I mean, maybe there is some kind of, like, magnetic, like, phenomenon that is going on here. But that's not... That's not... Nothing like oh it's alien or oh it's a go or it's like what uh some kind of like event or no it's the magnetic maybe the ground is made out of like like ferrite or something or some type of metal or some type of like thing that interferes with compasses right so I mean come on guys there's millions of millions of ships that passes through this Bermuda Triangle and they all survive I mean yes there are gonna there's some that did you know get lost in this area but you can't say it's Bermuda Triangle maybe they got lost maybe because it was in 1980 
1960, 1440, fucking where they don't have any technologies, you know, GPS to get through this type of thing, and they got lost. They got lost, and they don't have the capabilities to get out. GPS, they don't have GPS, so they got lost in the storm, and then they got lost. I honestly don't think it's anything super, super natural or something weird like that, man. It's all, it's all, it's all in people's heads, and they try to create something so people could be interested like ooh look at Bermuda Triangle so I mean I do believe there are, there are aliens guys to be honest we're not the only we're not the only we're not the only ones here in this universe there has to be other life out there but in terms of like oh this is like a super phenomenon whatever Bermuda Triangle it's just it's a created story, guys. Um, this is Bermuda Triangle right here. This is a very, very big uh, shipping lane. Like people, sh like all these ships. Every single day, there's always ships here because um, it's in the middle of the shipping lane to ship goods, bananas, whatever. Uh, you know, they they go right through this freaking Bermuda Triangle. Nothing happens to them. So. It's all, it's all in people's heads, guys. Look at me, I survived. Well, it's a simulator, but okay, you know, like, it's, it's really, it's really not that, it's not really not that serious, to be honest. I mean, would I fly there? No. I wouldn't fly into Bermuda, regardless if I don't believe it or not. Just because of the story that I've been hearing, you know, just because of the story I've been hearing doesn't mean, like, Maybe, you know, look at this place. Like, you, you could easily get lost here. That's the reason why I don't want to fly here. I wouldn't fly here. Like, look at this place, man. This place is like freaking scary as hell. I mean, there's, I know there's a lot. For like, I wouldn't go, even if it's not Bermuda Triangle. I wouldn't go here if it's not Bermuda Triangle. If it was just a regular ocean that has this kind of storm, I wouldn't go here. <coughs> so Bermuda or not, I wouldn't go to this type of situation. I want to put myself in this situation. That's just my little, that's just my opinion, guys. If you guys have other opinions, then that's perfectly fine. Like, that's your belief. I'm not going to tell you no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you think otherwise but this is just my opinion and this is what I think and you can take it or leave it I don't believe in Bermuda Triangle it's just a place there's no to me there's no like supernatural phenomenon going on in here that's what I just believe Let's go ahead and land one more time, guys. And before we end the video here. One more time. Okay, let's train her out real quick, because um, we're getting blown by the wind here. Let's train her out, there you go. So we're not landing sideways here into the water. Boom. Boom. Pretty cool. Oh shit. There's some big waves going on over here. Alright, well, we'll fly out of a uh, Bermuda Triangle and we'll end the video there come on come on come on get off the water tension there you go there you go I found eight five pretty cool but just wish they didn't have all that problem
They did a pretty good job with the graphics though. Look, it looks very realistic to me. The rain, the weather, everything. The only thing it's not realistic is when you land on the water, it's like weird. Okay, we're gonna try to get as much altitude as we can get. Yeah. Uh, nope, we can't. We gotta level off our flaps here. We're losing speed. I don't care about the altimeter at the moment. Okay, clean her out. My trim is like really bad at the moment. There you go. Trim is good. Crazy, uh, this is some pretty realistic weather system that they're going they got going on over here, man. It's a great time to be alive. Technology, man. Jeez. Back in 1993? Oh my gosh. We got Super Mario. Hey, Super Mario was cool, though. We got what? What else we got? We got Mario Kart, um, Doom. We got uh, Battlefield 1945. <coughs> Actually, want to be struck by lightning? That's even possible in this simulator. Going right into the storm. Let's actually get out of there. I'm trying to get, gain some altitude here to go over the storm. I don't think we're going to gain that much altitude because this plane is really weak on thrust. I think I only have like 500 or 300 horsepower. Or 200 horsepower, I'm 150, I don't know. Our vertical speed is 1,000 per minute. That seems about right. Good weather, guys. Hey, get a really good job in this simulator, man. Let's try ultra settings here. Ultra. I'm probably gonna my frames are probably gonna suffer here. Yep. I see 20, 30, 17. I just see 17. 35. But look at the graphics though. Wow. Holy moly. But look at my frames though. Wow, look at this man. It's even better. Jeez. Clouds look more realistic. My frame suffered. I'm getting 30, 40 frames per second. No good. That's no good. All right, we're going back.
Maybe I could put it on high end. Let's see. I do have a 3080 RTX 3080, so that's actually a, a high end graphic card. Now it got me 60. Is that 60? Oh, 50, 52. All right. Man, look at this though. Jeez, how beautiful is this? I wonder if I could keep it at this setting, man. All right, guys, that's Bermuda Triangle. Um, that's gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna be flying into this storm right here. I don't see what's going on. I'm climbing, climbing, climbing. I'm trying to get above the the storm here, but this plane's not gonna be making this easy. Because this plane's it's underpowered. I'm not gonna be able to get that altitude, and the ceiling of this plane is very, very low. There you go. Probably nah, I can barely hear myself think in this plane. It's so freaking loud. But anyways, I'll leave you guys at with that. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, till the next one, we're gonna. I don't know. I think we'll just visit like Europe or something. We'll fly Europe or I don't know the UK or something. We'll go to one of the point of interest and check it out. But anyways, until next time guys.